Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So um, this is an Etsy share and it is from journalmecrazy.etsy.com. Uh, this is my address. So I'm not really that worried about showing it. I uh, just got this in the mail today and so I wanted to show you guys. It's another shop where she does um, handmade crafts. So I really wanted to share that with you guys, but I wanted to show you the envelope. Isn't it cute? I love this. And this is the back side. There's nothing on that. It's just her address underneath my hand. Um, but I thought that was cute how she stamped the envelope. Um, so this is a thank you so much. This is my order. And like I said, this is another shop where she does handmade items. So I really wanted to make sure to support her. Um, so this is my receipt, so I'm going to save that. And set that over somewhere. So this was my order. If I can remember what I ordered. Bloop. So they're pockets full of stuff. And so I got fall because I really want to make a Thanksgiving journal, even if it's just for me and the family. I really want to make a Thanksgiving journal. So of course I'm going to have to um, get some of my Thanksgiving um, fall things out. So um, I have to finish my Christmas journals first. But anyway, so um, this is the back of the pocket. Oh, and there's multiple pockets. Big old huge tag here. Nice journaling space on the back. It's all sewn around. Uh, let's see if we can do it this way. And then there's the pocket here. Uh, there's actually two pockets. There's a po This is made out of an envelope. That is so cool. Sorry, I'm just like dissecting it. That's really cool. It's an envelope. That's so cute. I'm going to have to like remember this. Oh, and there's another little tag here. Oh my gosh, there's nooks and crannies everywhere. There's a pocket here. There is the pocket here. And then there's a pocket here. Like that. And then on top of that, there is a pocket here where she put the big tag. Oh, that is so cute. I love this. Oh my gosh, I am going to have so much fun with this. Oh yes, I'm definitely going to be able to do a lot with this and creating a Thanksgiving journal. Let's see if I can manage to put some of this stuff back in here. Oh, look at the stamp. Welcome to our patch. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. So I watched a video earlier today um, and it was actually on, um, this is not the way she had this. It was on uh, Facebook and I don't normally watch videos on Facebook. I actually haven't been on Facebook in quite a long time. I uh, kind of took a hiatus from Facebook because uh, there's just, I don't know, there's just a lot of negativity on Facebook, so. And there's also, this is embossed. That is cool. But there's also really great things on there as well. So, anyway, I was watching a video, and she was making a mini album, and I was like, oh, I miss making mini albums. So I might actually get back into that, or at least make one or two. Anyway. Isn't that cute? I love that. So that's one. And I like that these bags actually aren't sealed because I'm a seller. I can actually use these bags. Um, well, at least that one because that one's not sealed, but this one is. And then there's this one. Woohoo! And oh, look at that. They're flowers. 
how pretty. And they're sealed with a brad, and the brad is covered with paper. Oh, I like those. Oh, and then there's one right here on the pocket. Season. And then a journaling card. Oh, how cute. And she's got really, really good prices, too. Um, especially considering the stuff is handmade. She's got really great prices. Um, and it's different. Like, I don't know. I guess that's why I really like supporting the, uh, the handmade artists. Well, not the handmade artists. But, you know, the artists that make things. Um, I really like supporting them. And, because they're all different, you know? Even if they're similar, they're different. So here's a pocket. How cute. I like the pen work that she did. That is really cute. And then a stamp of a leaf. I don't know which one because I don't do foliage or shrubbery or anything. I'm really bad at naming. That's a that's a that's a maple leaf, right? It's that one. I'm probably wrong and made myself look silly, but that's okay. Um, I'm actually going to keep all these together because they're all fall. They're all autumn. So I'm going to keep them all together. And as you can see, they're all different. So I love that. This one is a multi-pocket pocket. Oh, I love the texture of this. Oh, that is so cool. What did she do? It's just one sheet of paper, but it feels so cool. Oh, that is so neat. I feel like it's coffee dyed and it's inked. Oh, that is really neat. I like that a lot. Okay, so this is the multi-pocket pocket. So we've got this pocket back here. So once you glue it down, you can even put a pocket back here. So let's see. Here's the journal that we worked on yesterday. Let's go to a pocket or a page that doesn't have a pocket on it. So if you put this down, if you just glue around the edges, you've got yet another pocket back here. So if you really like pockets, which we all know I really like pockets. Oh, and this is made from a paper bag. How cute. Sorry. <laughs> I realized it when I was trying to put it back. Oh, that is so cool. It's a paper bag made into a pocket. Well, many pockets. So it's got quite a bit of little journaling card. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. I like the stamp work that she's done. This is a flip. I don't know what she does to this paper, but it feels really cool. Like, I don't know how to explain it. There's another journaling card tag. Oh, and it's like a little belly band. Bloop, bloop. You can put something in there. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, I like that. Oh, and she's used another one of her flowers. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, and so this is another bag that I can reuse. And another pocket. Another pocket. Put that one over there. Again, I love the pen work that she's used here. It is really cool. And pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes. Aw. And it's a little notepad with a tag in a pocket. She stole my heart with all these pockets, man. I'm telling you. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That is super cool. And then this one is 
some Muller. I don't think I got two of them, did I? I thought I only got one. I'll have to look at my receipt because I'm pretty sure I only got one. Yeah, everything says one. One, 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 one. Oh, they're not exactly the same. It was the pocket that was different. That was the different part. Yeah, I was really confused. I was like, wait, what? I didn't get two of these. Yeah, I did. I wanted the pocket. Isn't it cute? And then another tag. And I don't know what paper this is, but it's cool. And I like how she's put the ribbons on there. And I like the zigzag along with the straight stitch, which is really neat. You all see that? Reminds me of a heartbeat. There, you can see it probably better. Oh, that is so neat. All right, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. This is really cool. And the craftsmanship is really good, too. Here's another journaling card with another stamped image. It's another paper bag pocket. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Oh, how cute. I like the little bit of collage work that she did here too. Oh, I love these. Okay, this is going to be so much fun to play with. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with all this stuff. Um, let's take this out and we're going to put it all in one bag. They're not going to fit in these bags. And we're going to put them all in one. Nope. Bag. Oh, you know what? They'll fit in here, though. The whole shebang. Right in there. And that way they're all nice and safe and ready for me to use when I start making my Thanksgiving journals. Well, maybe. Not sure. Okay, and so this is a thank you gift. I'm really waiting for her to come up with some Christmas stuff. I know it's there. She just hasn't she hasn't brought it out yet. It says thank you so much. Aw. A free gift for you. Oh, that is so cute. An envelope. Some words. I like this because they look like they were typewriter. And I'm a little jealous because I have a typewriter. <laughs> it just doesn't work at the moment. Because it's kind of 70 years old. And by kind of, I mean it's 70 years old. <laughs> oh, look at that teeny tiny tag. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, and the stickers. Oh. Oh, how cute. I'll have to put some of these in my plan. I have a planner where, um, like, I keep all my weight loss stuff in. And these will be really cute for the month of November. Aw. Those are super adorable. And I love this bag. Good gift, thanks. I'm going to have to figure something out with that because I really don't want to throw it away. I wanna, I'm going to figure something out with that. But I am going to put it in with this stuff here and there we go Boop. Boop. voila all right and 
remember her uh, shop is Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash journal me crazy. And I will put the link in the description box so you guys um, will have an easier time finding her. But I'm going to set this in my own little journal here. Uh, here. And I will glue that down later. My journal sits like this, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, and we're going to set these aside. I really don't want to lose these, so I'm going to paper clip these together. And then we're going to put them in my, my planner in my bedroom. All right. Okay, so what were we working on? We were working on the journals, right? And we were finishing up the journals if I do remember correctly. So we put a pocket here and then uh, I think I need to pull up just a little bit on this glue because it's too low. So let me do that real quick. I didn't touch this journal since last night when I made the video for you guys. Alright, and then you know what else I need to do? I need to make some more goodie bags. That is my last one. So that's something else that I need to do. Um, and then we made these pockets here. And I don't think we did anything else to this particular journal. Uh, let's grab the pot of parts that we did. And let's see what we can find in here. We've got some envelopes, which I think would be really cute. Um, we've got some bigger pieces. I think these might be too big. Yeah, these might be too big. Maybe not for the very back. That's really cute. But let's see if we can't put it in the Christmas journal. Because one of my journal or one of the journals is Christmas. The other ones are just kind of wintry. This one says greetings. We could probably trim nope. Even if we trim this down, it would still be too big. I'd have to cut a decent chunk off of that. But I really like this one, so let's set that one aside. For you. I'm looking at the edge of the paper. That's what I'm looking at. I like that one too. Oh, this one's cute. This one can like be folded in half. Oh, we can make like a little tiny mini journal and put it in somewhere. And this is, these are just the cut aparts that came with the um, journal. That is cute. That's another Christmas Christmas. Oh, there's one. That's a tree. And I like how they have the things on the back too. Look at that cat. That is ridiculous. It's so cute. It's another Christmas Christmas. Oh, look at her. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Are you too big here? Yes. But you're not too big for here. We could put the the deer with the that little lady, or we could just make a couple Christmas journals because uh, two of them are winter, or three of them are winter, and then one of them is Christmas. That's this one. No, there is two of them that is Christmas. It's this one and this one. The other two are. Oh, this one has Christmas on it, too, right there. Well, 
I think that's okay because I think there's a lot of people that celebrate Christmas and they will there will definitely be more winter journals for sure. I think I'm gonna have to pick something else to go right here because it's too heavy and it keeps coming out. So maybe we can put one of one of these guys like that. Maybe not the cat. I don't know. I think the cat's kind of cute. I don't think the cat goes with the deer. Let's see. I'm just trying to use some of these cut aparts, you know? We did go through the, well, I say we, but went through all that time to cut them. Want to use them. You know what else we could do? Is we could use them on some of our cards here. Yep. Okay. So let's find our chompery thing. Oh my gosh, my desk is a mess. I had like 30 orders come in in the past two days. And I am definitely not complaining. I'm saying that my me my desk is a mess. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And I've lost things. Alright. Uh, oh, there you are. <sighs> Found you. Alright, so we used half an inch on the card. So let's do half an inch here. Oh, that's pretty perfect. All right, so, oh, and I got new brushes. So I'd have more brushes for more colors. Not that I'm using any colors right now. I'm just using the coffee. That's the color, it's coffee. This is archival ink. It is by Ranger. If you are loyal to the Ranger brand, it is by Ranger. It's actually one of my favorite inks is the archival ink. Um, I just, it goes on super smooth. I like it. All right, so I actually didn't anticipate that the Etsy show was going to take quite so long, but I'm really glad that I showed you guys because, like I said, I really, really, really like that. Um, oh, that's pretty too. <sighs> but you know what? I got two paper pads. And I'm using Fabri-Tac here because it's open. Oops. Uh, because it's open, but also it doesn't warp the paper. And as you can see, uh, I'm going to have to start using Fabri-Tac or tape on the Project Life cards because I used glue stick. And apparently glue stick is very watery because it warped my cards. And you don't always want that warp. I'm going to go ahead and ink this little lady because I know I want to use her somewhere. Because she is pretty. And I'm inking my fingers as well because I didn't want to break her antlers so I put my fingers underneath and you know um, it's kind of funny so whenever I get done with the design team project I um, we just start a new one back up 
And so my next one, I actually have a lot of fussy cutting to do. And I don't have a skin and cut, so they're going all by hand. But with those orange scissors, those Fiskars, these guys, it's really not that bad. All right, she's done, so I'm going to set her aside. Okay, I really like this. So let's put this into a pocket. Oh, I'm silly. I just rubbed my eye with my inked fingers. My eyeball's going to be brown. Oh, look at that. That is really pretty. Okay. And remember, we want these semi-decorated. We don't want them completely full um, because we want the recipient to be able to do really whatever they want with them. So I'm just going to grab... this page here. Let's look at the inside covers real quick. So I know I don't want to put it on this one. This one might not be that bad, especially since she's on the outside too. Yep, I like that. Okay. We're going to go with the inside cover here. And I'm going to go with this one only because it's going to get glued. My pen is glued into my bottle. Does that happen? Or only because I don't use it that often. Is that why it does that? I'm new to this glue, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm choosing this one because of the antlers. And this one has got a much finer tip. Like the Fabri-Tac's got a pretty fine tip, actually. But the glue itself is thicker. And I think that this one would be better. Right now I'm just kind of spreading it out. I'm not really adding more glue. Except right there. And her tail. Gotta get her tail. Okay. Oh, I like that. Oh, and you know what else I want to start doing? I want y'all's opinion on this um, because a lot of people say you should sign your books. I have heard it a thousand times. Um, and But I don't really want to stamp it because that's how I, I sign some things. Um, I don't like sign it, but I stamp it with, you know, handmade by Journey of Crafting, you know, good stuff. But I was thinking about putting on the, like, the back or the back page or something like that, like a little label. Um, or something with my name, information, date, you know, stuff like that. What do you think about that? Or do you think it, should it be like detached, like on a card that you can take out and, you know, not keep with the book? I love this one. I don't know if I like that one or that one better. I think I kind of like that one better. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All right, so this one does need to get trimmed trim down. So let's do that real quick. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this one and the other one since I have this out. 
and I just kind of set it right on top of all of my stuff here. Yep. Okay, fine. I just threw it on my lap. My intention was not to throw the paper on my lap. That was my intention. To put it over there. So anyway, um, yeah, I was looking at this video and um, what well, was alive actually and she was making a mini album and I was just like oh my gosh that would be so cool uh I think that that would be a lot of fun and it is something that I really want to try to get back into would you guys be interested in watching me do some albums some photo albums mini albums that's what they're called um they would be you know, craft with me process videos like this, but instead of a junk journal, it would be an album or a mini album. What you think? Think it's a good idea? I think it's a good idea. Is my head in the camera? No. Okay. No, but neither is my pottery thing. Here, we'll go this side. I don't know if that's going to be enough on this particular one. Here I go. just a little bit more off of this side. All right, hopefully that's big or small enough. And then, then this one here should be pretty easy to do. And let's see, yeah, that's four. So we'll just put one in each. straight. There we go. Okay. Oi. But yeah, that's the great thing about having two paper pads is you see one side of it and then you flip it over and you're like, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. And you can still use it for you. I think I'm going to leave this one out, not glue it down. Mostly because I don't want to cut it anymore and it's still just ever so slightly too big for the paper. It's not too big for the book itself because it doesn't go over. But interesting. This, uh, art glitter glue is a very wet glue. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, so we're going to leave that there. What do you think about that? And this side, too. I like this one, though. It says, for you. I like that. All right, so this one's done. Like, I'm just going to call this one done because she's got some pockets. She's got some tags. She's got a pretty cover. She's all sewn together. Yeah, I'm going to call this one done. And then let's go to the next one, which is this one. And let's see what's on the front. That would be the squirrel. So we can, our, yeah, it's a squirrel. 
Or is that a chipmunk? That's a squirrel. Yeah, because chipmunks have fat, fat faces, like round faces. Nope, don't want to do that. That is too much. All right, let's just do greetings on this one because this is not the Christmas Christmas one. It does have a Christmas tag, but it is detachable. It is not set in stone, but it has to stay put. Maybe we should just put it on the front. Okay, so I like that. What's the other side? Ooh, pretty. I like that side better. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to stick with the Fab Attack. The Art Glitter Glue is a very, very wet glue. I think it's good for like small things. Like if you have embellishments or something you want to add, like uh, wood or metal or something like that, I think it would be good. Especially on those pieces that you shouldn't use E6000 on. Um, like the super thin metal. I don't know if I have any offhand. I know I have some. I just don't know if I have any. Like right this second. Uh, oh yeah, no, they're buried. Yeah, they're underneath my ginormous book, which I still have not taken apart. I got a, um, a, you know, those newspaper books that you can get, like they're, they're, um, super old newspapers, but they've been bound together. Yeah, I've got one of those German at that, and uh, I haven't taken it apart yet. I want to take it apart, but I don't at the same time. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so she's got three pockets. Let's see what else can we put in here. There's an envelope here. It says greetings. Um, I really like this. Um, is that too big? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, let's see where... I really want to use this. I don't know where to put her. Hmm. Ideas? I'm thinking as I'm inking, which is me making noises. Normally when I'm making noises, I'm thinking about something. Or I'm being silly, or I'm distracting myself, or I just don't have anything in my brain at all and it just comes out. I just, I don't know, I make noises. It's part of who I am. <laughs> So we ate out, uh, well, we didn't eat out, we ate in. We don't eat out anymore. Uh, we do our, um, Uber Eats. Um, but we try to eat out just like once a month. We used to eat out, oh my gosh, all the time. But um, this new, this is backwards. Um, like the changing of my lifestyle, you know, is actually, you know what?
anyway, it's kind of forced me to. Ooh. Do I have a clip that would match that? Anyway, it's forced us to obviously watch much more carefully what we're eating. Um, so we don't eat out very often. Anyway, we ate out tonight and we had hibachi. And oddly enough, hibachi is really not that bad for you because all it is is grilled food. Oh, I like this. And that way it is removable, obviously. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. And then I like this. This is nice. Oh my gosh, my cat is going crazy. She makes these really weird noises. Like she's meowing, but she's talking. It's really strange. And she's old. Uh, let's see, my son is 14, so she is 13, the cat. Um, and she is so bizarre, man. So her food and water is in our bathroom, um, because we have a lot, a lot of counter space in our bathroom. And so, because we have a dog, we put her food and water on the counter in between the two sinks. And anyway, she will come to you and yell at you until you take her to her food. She needs an escort. It is the funniest thing ever. I like that. Okay. We're going to we're going to glue you down, Santa. And it's just honestly this is just like an extra um decoration, but you can still write on it. Like, I think that would be hard for us to write on. I mean, you could. It would have a fun challenge, I think. All right. I like that. Oh, we could put the bunny with the bunny. No, we we could not. Maybe in here. Okay, I like that, but not on the same page. I don't. I did not like that. And see, that's another one that you could just put it straight down like that. Again, I, would, I wouldn't necessarily glue them down if you've only got the one paper pad, unless you are absolutely committed to the fact that you, do, you don't like the other side or you love this side. But I think we are all kind of in the habit of, oh, that's so pretty, and then we never use it because it's so pretty. We want to keep it forever. And I am in that predicament. I need to start using my stuff. I have so much paper. And so that's another reason why I was just like, you know, I want to get back into um, making photo albums because it actually uses a lot of scrapbook paper, which is why I have so much scrapbook paper because I was doing photo albums for a long time. There we 
you go. Just like that. All right. So we've got the greetings on the front that we did not ink. That's okay, because we're doing it now. Oh, that's all right, because we didn't ink this whole journal. I was like, wow, that looks funny, because the whole thing's not inked. None of it is. Didn't we ink these journals? Or were we holding off for uh, to make sure they were finished first? Which, that doesn't make any sense. You should ink it before you finish it, not after. Oh, I'm throwing stuff. Okay, so whenever you get your journal, don't flip it all around because it will most likely throw your stuff everywhere like it just did mine. All right. Okay. So what is on the outside of this one? Where's my card? I just inked you. Where'd you go? Put you there and you there. I think you were somewhere else, but that works. All right. Um, I think I want to put lace on the outside of this, though. Right here. Um, like that. Do you look like? Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. Um, oh, today's going to get a long video. Well, those of you who like really long videos, you're welcome. And those of you who like really short videos, I'm sorry. Um, I have been doing shorter videos. I'm sure you guys have noticed. Um, I actually see that my ratings are higher with the shorter videos. Now, once I get more feedback, um, I will be able to better gauge, but just looking at my analytics, they're actually better with the shorter videos. So, like I said, for those of you who like the longer videos, you're welcome. And if you like the shorter ones, I'm sorry. Um, the Etsy share did take a little bit longer than anticipated, which is fine. Uh, eh. But I just wanted to craft with you guys. So here I am. with you guys. Okay. I'm just putting this straight on the lace because I don't want to go over the lace like I just did. No, get off. <laughs> I win. Um, Fabri-Tac for you. It just comes right on off. As long as you wipe it off when it's wet. If it's dry already, good luck. Unless it's plastic. If it's plastic, it'll just peel off. I don't know why. 
seems like a really really good glue that would like just glue anything and everything but and I found that out the hard way because I went to make a it was actually a handbook uh, for some of the printables that I did or not that I did but that I bought and um, for whatever reason I used Fabri-Tac to glue something to the page protectors and it just like oh no it wasn't a um, I know it was it wasn't the guidebook it was uh, I was organizing my stickers and one of the ways that I did it was um, I had glued this like the back of the stick I don't have any stickers like um yeah I do I just got some like I would glue the back here not the paper but the uh, the ones that had plastic and I would just glue it straight to the page protectors and they fell off they like just fell off so I was like well that's no bueno I kind of want to make a pocket or something but this one's getting a little decorated and remember we're trying to keep it minimalized here and we've got three pockets in here already so yeah let's just leave that alone don't over decorate it okay so there's that one that one's done and then this one is most likely done. There's a little belly band here. Um, we could put one of these guys in here. Boop, boop. I don't think I want to do that though. But. I want to see which one matches. Actually, I think it would be this one. I think this one's better. Yep, this one's better. All right, so let's ink this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a final like flip through of the journals just to make sure that um, there's nothing else I want to add and then I'll do a final flip through for you guys. The flip through will be a bonus video just like the other flip throughs that I've done um, for the other journals. See isn't that pretty? Oh that is really pretty actually. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I'm just going to do from now on when I do the, the flip throughs, I'm just going to do separate videos completely that, that way it's easier for me on the shop to link where the video is instead of, um, the people having to search through a 30 minute video or hour long video, they're just right there straight to the flip through. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And I hope you guys don't mind. So you'll just get an extra video that day. Whatever day it is. There we go. Alright and hopefully Let's see, what is tomorrow? When are you guys watching this video? You guys are watching this video on Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Um, hopefully I can get these completely finished and then um, belly band. And then, uh, oh yeah, this one's definitely done. Another belly band. Anyway, maybe I can get this completely finished and then up and on the shop by Monday, I hope. Um, so really the only one left here is this one, which I am not going to put this in, like I might put it right there, but then it kind of defeats the purpose because you can't see your head, but we can put it on the back side. Yeah. 
me do that. Again, I'm not going to glue this because the inside of this is really, really pretty and glued and pocketed and whatnot. So, but yeah, I think, like I said, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a final flip through to, you know, look at everything, make sure, you know, nothing needs to be added or taken away or whatever, and then we'll do a final flip through. Um, probably might get that either tomorrow or Sunday, depends on when I get it done. Honestly, you'll probably get it Sunday because I'm probably going to record this and then I'm going to go lay down and I'm going to read my book. Um, I really am enjoying that book a lot. It kind of feels like a sci-fi mystery romance. Um, and again, if you've missed the previous videos where I've mentioned it, it's called King's Oak. Um, but yeah, I'm about halfway through it and it, it really feels like a, a, like a fantasy sci-fi, not a out in space sci-fi. Although I like the out in space sci-fis too, but it feels kind of like a fantasy sci-fi and a romance and a mystery kind of all wrapped into one. Um, if we can put her right there. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Also not even. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so it's called King's Oak, like king and queen, King's Oak, like the oak tree. Um, and who's the author? Ann Sullivan, or Ann, yeah, Ann Sullivan Rivers, or Ann Rivers, Ann Rivers Cummins or something like that. I'll have to get it. You can get it on Kindle. It's like $3, I think. Um... Yeah, I told Wayne, I was like, you know, I kind of want to get the Kindle version. He's like, you have the book in your hand. I was like, yeah, but I have the manuscript. I'm curious as to what the final copy looks like. Like, is it the same? I don't, I've never read a manuscript before, actually. This is my first one. And it is very interesting because you can see the markings of where they went back and, um, like, edited it like cross words out and changed words, add words, change the spelling on things. It's pretty cool actually. It doesn't take away from the reading either, which I thought would, it definitely would, but it doesn't. Not for me anyway. Okay. All right. So I think that that is going to be it for these particular journals. I'll go ahead and do like a final review on them and then get them pictured and listed and hopefully have them up by Monday for you guys. Um, and like I said, this is, these are our semi, um, decorated. They are not fully decorated as you can see. They are semi-decorated. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for joining me on a, a very long video actually. Um, it's going to take a minute to upload, but thank you so much for joining me. I had a lot of fun and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.